check him out. Yeah, doggies. That guy'd spin on the head of a 50p. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Daniel Gesmer. I was a pro freestyle skateboarder in the mid and late 1980s. Some of you may remember me from the 1988 Powell video called Public Domain. These days I own and run a company called Seismic Skate Systems. I developed and market a high-tech carving oriented truck called the Seismic Truck. What drew me to skateboarding initially was basically the magic feeling of effortless gliding and turning, and I think that's an important part of what hooks many of us. Freestyle is an event uh, that is practiced on a big flat open space, and uh, skaters choreograph uh, set routines uh, to a piece of music. Uh, this is basically the first true event in skateboarding. Well, without freestyle, uh, there really wouldn't be much else. It was uh, freestyle skateboarders who invented things like the kick turn and the 180. And without those um, fundamental basics, uh, you know, people wouldn't be going to the top of a ramp and turning around. My whole approach as a competitive freestyle skateboarder I was interested in carrying it to an advanced artistic level comparable to what we see in Olympic caliber ice skating. It's funny, I was always a pretty controversial figure in my competitive days because um, I was integrating a lot of elements from, from dance into what I was doing and, and a lot of people were, were sort of squeamish about what I was doing, at least on a superficial level. They thought it was, uh, well, to be blunt, gay. And that was really hard for me to take as, you know, as a 25-year-old straight guy. A lot of the people who came up to me and really said, hey man, we think what you're doing is cool, are the skaters who later self-destructed. People like uh, Gator, Christian Osoy, Jeff Phillips. You know, maybe it's actually uh, kind of a, a hidden compliment because often the people who are sort of on the edge of, of self-destruction are the folks who are um, the most thoughtful and creative. Still be In the mid-70s when the freestyle event was really preeminent, the number of 360s that a skater could do was often considered uh, the best barometer of his overall ability. And that was, it was interesting that, you know, 25 years ago, instead of how high can you ollie or how many stairs can you jump down, it was how many times can you turn around on your back wheels. I don't think it's fair to say that um, the freestyle event as a whole has died. We held a World Freestyle Championships in San Francisco in November. There's no question in my mind that a lot of young skaters neglect to develop mastery over uh, fundamental techniques. They'll be able to do more with their ollie and board flip techniques if they mastered basics.